guys. We're the Kachi Twins. I'm Mikkel. I'm Peyton. Alright, so more scary stories have been happening to my sister and I, well, and my family. And it is scarier than last time. And we really didn't want to do this video because... Of while, last time. While we were doing the video last time, and if you guys haven't watched that video, the link will be down below. And I'll do like a little description and stuff about it. And it was so scary because the camera kept shaking and it was just like scary stuff was happening. And do you ever feel like you feel like someone's watching you? Yeah. Or like you feel that? This I was just a, like a bad vibe. Right yeah, during the video I was just like, and I don't want to psych myself out because when I sleep at night then I'll get more scared. So it's just like, no it's not real, it's not real. Yeah. Alright, well we, I just want to mention this guys, we are very religious people, we believe in God, we believe in Jesus, and we pray like every night, it's like, we don't let this stuff in, we try to get it away from us. We've had sages around our house to make sure that we have nothing bad happen. Clear all the bad spirits out. But apparently, that has not been working. So my aunt had visited from Oregon, and she used like, like, throwback, she used to like see ghosts and stuff, and like, this weird stuff, I don't even know how to say. She had scratches on her arms from like demons that she said. And she said she used to see like things in the corner of her rooms and just like weird stuff. She used to mess with the Ouija board too with her friends. And that's how it all started with her. Aunt Missy had gone upstairs to go to the bathroom. And when she was walking out of the bathroom, like to go downstairs, she saw like a black figure in the corner of her eye. And she didn't want to look at it because she like like in from her past she didn't want to give it power to whatever it was she couldn't help herself but she looked anyhow and she saw it walking into my room I was oh I, it gives me chills and it had walked into my closet the closet door was closed this is what I'm this is what she's saying and I'm gonna believe her because she's, she's had it yeah she's had marks on her arms she has proved this stuff to us because of the seances and the Ouija board and all that stuff she's done in the past and like one story she told us about like what has happened because I like hearing like we said we like it's hearing interesting stories like this so I asked her I was like has there been anything that has happened to you so far yet and she was like yes I was going to the bathroom one day and I let the toilet paper I was gonna change the roll and I left for two minutes and I came back and all the toilet paper rolls were stacked up on the toilet <laughs> and I was like oh heck no and she was like yeah it just like I couldn't sleep she told us she couldn't sleep in her house for two nights because she was so scared anyhow I want to go back to the story I didn't tell my aunt at all that like weird stuff has been happening to my closet like my closet door people even said my closet door looks scary because my dad had painted it all like brown and then he had washed it out with like what is white. it white he yeah washed, washed it out with it. white and it like looked like a like brown white just something creepy it's like old wood or something like that and so my cat I, when I'm sleeping at night my cat will like paw and push the door literally like push the door and you can hear it slamming and I get so annoyed because I wake up in the middle of the night and I don't think any of it because like I just think positive because I don't want to sketch myself out and like I just woke up so I just went back to sleep it happens like probably like three or four times a week not gonna lie and like I have to put a pillow to my closet door now because like my cats always be like doing it. My sister when I we used to share this room in the closet we would always just feel this vibe that there was something in there because like have you ever seen the boogeyman? Well the boogeyman's like something where there's something in the closet and we used to tease each other about that and be like ooh the boogeyman's in the closet. Like to scare each other because she was close to the closet and I was sleeping on the other side of the bed. And like just to tease each other when we get mad we would just say stupid stuff. We could never sleep with the closet open that's why the closet just kind of gives us the, the heebie jeebies every time we go and they're yeah. like. For an example, when I have to go something in your get something in your room, I'll like look and I'm like double checking to see if anything. I turn all there. the hallway lights on before I go in my room. Me too. This literally just happened like tonight. Two like two hours ago, but she just left to Oregon. And I've just been scared ever since she said that. Like, how are you gonna leave us like that? And tell us something scary happens. Like, no. But here's a backstory of what has happened since our last ghost story. So let's tell them. Okay, so this was like, I think two weeks ago, I was sleeping, and my mom usually closes my door. Well, I close it at night, but she opens to check, like, if I'm in, in there safe or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> or check if I'm on my phone. But she checks, like, every night, and she usually closes it when she's done. And, like, my door, when you close it, like, you hear, like, the, 
It's like, like you can, it's loud. Like you can't just open it and it's like quiet. Like that, like, no, it's like loud. So it's like impossible for like someone to like just kick on. So I had woken up in the middle of the night because my mom checked on me and she already closed the door. So I went back to sleep and I hear someone open my door again because I'm a light sleeper. And I'm just like thinking to myself, I go, that's weird, my mom just checked. And I thought it was weird because she had left the door open and it's like impossible for someone just to like kick the bottom of the door and my cat like randomly did it. No, like that's impossible. My mom knows I'm like, I get really mad if she leaves the door open because I get scared because I see the hallway. And I woke up in the morning, I had asked my mom, I was like, did you open my door last night? She goes, no, I heard that. I thought you went to, up to go to the bathroom or something. I go, no, I didn't. And she goes, that's strange. And so when I was hearing this story, I wasn't really focusing on like what she was saying. When we were on our way to school when she was telling me about this story. I wasn't really realizing it. And so the day, this happened maybe two days after, and I asked my mom, I was like, so mom, like what happened that when Kayden was talking about her, like something with the door? And she told me, and I was just like kind of scared. I was like, oh no, not another ghost thing or demon thing. Like I'm not dealing with this. And we just have filmed the day before too on like another video. I'm like, I'm getting ready to go to sleep. I forget that these lights are in here. And I've seen scary movies, and we're filming, like, we were filming with studio lights, and the studio lo lights kind of remind me of the scary movie Insidious. that I watched, maybe, no, I think it is Insidious, that I've watched with this guy, like, before she has told me this story. And so, let me just get into the story of what, how I was watching this movie. So we were sitting there, and I invited this friend over, and he was like, oh yeah, let's just watch a movie. And I was like, okay, let's watch a scary movie. So, supposedly, I think it is insidious. I'm pretty positive it is. Yeah. And we're just literally just sitting here thinking of nothing. And, like, when I, we were, like, home alone, too. So no one was there. And we're sitting there. And this, like, before the big scene comes, we just hear a big thrash. Like, something fell above us. And we just start tripping out because we're watching this movie. And it's, like, how ironic that a big thing just falls. Like, it just tripped us out. So we ran out of the house and we we're just like, oh, hell no, we're not messing with that. So we left. So speaking of that light thing, that's the day I saw this movie. So I'm getting ready to go to bed, and I remember when we were watching this movie, Insidious, that they had these lights. And so I'm like, oh hell no, and they're already sleeping and stuff, and so I'm like, I'm thinking of this movie, I'm like, I'm not, I'm not even going to risk anything scary happening. And like, always when we're scared, we always text each other, are you up? And like, she had texted me that, because I seen it the next morning, but I didn't text back because I was asleep. So I'm like, oh hell no, I'm not gonna let anything risk me getting scared or having a heart attack because that stuff really gets in your skin and just makes you like double think you're just like, mm-mm. Like your so head. I went upstairs and slept with her, nothing happened, but I forgot about what happened in the closet. So I wasn't thinking about that, I was mainly focused on these lights. And it room and she woke me up because I'm a light sleeper. And like she just told me what happened. I was like, oh, okay, I'm just going to go back to bed. She's like, you're being goofy. And she's Why? like, no, no. And, like, she taps on me so I could wake up because when she's scared, she taps on me. So and so just no, so I know someone's awake with me. It just trips me off. I'm like, yeah, and awake. she kept tapping me. I was like, leave me alone. And she goes, I can't fall asleep. I can't fall asleep. I was like, okay, we'll just try. Just keep trying. And so, like, at 4 o'clock in the morning, she was up, like, for, like, two hours, right? Yeah. I only had, like, two hours of sleep. sleep that night. I had this really like unsettling feeling too, so I really did not sleep much that night. It was like I kept thinking and thinking. So like around 4 o'clock in the morning, we hear like this huge crash. And we're just like, uh, we both wake up and we're like, hmm. We woke up so alarmed, we jumped out of bed because we didn't know how, like, what it was. It was so loud, it literally sounded like if you were to drop a dresser off like a stairs. Or it just sounded like a horror movie, like a, you could just hear like the thing. Like surround sound. Yeah, it just sounded so scary. And so we went outside the room to see like what was happening. And my whole family was outside like of the room in the hallway. And we look and this big picture that's like five foot. It's still it's hanging on the wall, but the glass is all over the floor. And we're just like, how is that possible? But then we see like the thermostat had fallen off, but there's no way the thermostat could fall off unless the picture frame had swung. Because the picture frame was perfectly fine, but just the glass had shattered. And not to mention, this picture frame couldn't just fall out of nowhere because it's been on since February. And, so and the nail was fine, it was just perfectly fine in the wall. 
And so we're just like, how could this happen? Like, how is all these scary things happening to us? And so we just was like, oh, hell no. So we had literally an hour until we woke up normally before school. Because so we're on our phones because we could not go back to bed. So we just went to school the next day. But it was very sketchy because things have happened that night. Three things. It just gave us the chills. Like, everything about what was happening was just sketchy. But it helps a lot just when I pray. And, like and so, like, little things have built up. Like, my cat, he'll just sit there on my bed. And he'll look on the floor. And he's not, it's like not even like he's looking at, like, a bug or something that's moving. Yeah. He's, like, looking at it like he's about to jump on it. And I'm like, what the heck are you doing? And he stares for, like, a good, like, two minutes. And, like, it's fur would, like, get all poofy and just, like, weird things. Like, the cat, it's weird because, like, animals show, like, the signs of, like, spirits or something like that. Or looked it up. Or They'll hiss. Like that. They'll hiss at him. Or like, dogs, dogs will bark. bark. And we have a dog, not to mention. But she don't see shit. Also, another little thing is when, like, we go in our rooms, like, we're the only ones that can lock the door. But, like, when we walk out of our room, our doors magically lock. Like, I don't get it. Like, we'll walk out of our rooms and, like, walk back to our rooms. Our doors are locked. And so we have to grab our little key and push it in. But it always happens, like, all the time. Not just to my room, it's to all of our rooms, like, all my family members. Oh, yeah, I have another story. One night, my brother came home around 4 o'clock in the morning, and my mom has told me this story, like it didn't happen to me, but my mom, she was asleep, and she heard Gavin walk into the house, and that's my brother, and my mom was like, okay, just come check in before you get home, and so my brother opened the door and was like, okay, I'm home. So my brother has gotten home, and he opens my mom's door and is like, okay, I'm home, and doesn't close it, he usually leaves it open, and so he walks in the other room, and my mom thinks that, like, she just falls asleep, not, like, remembering anything. And my mom, like, falls back asleep, not remembering him coming, checking in. And that happens to me, too. Like, it probably happens to some other people, too, because you're just sleeping and you just wake up, like, okay, yeah. But anyway, so, my mom was like, okay, she's sleeping, and she hears a door close. And you, she hears, like, the push button of the walk button. And so she's thinking, like... Oh, it's probably Gavin. Like, oh, I'm just going to leave it alone. So she wakes up the next morning and she's like, Gavin, did you come in my room and lock the door? He's like, no, I didn't even close the door when I came and checked in. She's like, oh, yeah, you did check in. And she's like, what time? And she's like, I don't remember. So she's trying to, like, figure out if it was him, if he forgot. And he's like, no, I didn't close the door. So he, she asks me, she asks her, and we're like, no, we did not close yeah. the door. We didn't lock it or anything. So she's, like, thinking in her mind, like, that stuff just happened to us maybe a week or so. Just like the little things that we've been talking about is like adding up to like the big things that like we'll keep you info like what happens like to us more and we'll try to like see what's gonna like happen to us but we don't want to say anything but if anything gets any worse we're probably gonna have to bring a priest or someone in. Yeah it's scary. Because we don't want anything to happen to us or my family members. Yeah. It's, like, scary talking about it right now. Because, like, you know how you see the scary movies and you don't believe it? But you really, once it happens to you, you know that it's real and it's, like, shit. Like, people are not going to believe when I tell this story. But it really does happen to people. And, like, like not to mention, remember how we used to always do a Ouija board with grandma? Yeah, with our great, like, not great grandma, our dad's mom. And she would always let us do the Ouija board. And, and she, she told us like, it was a good Ouija board, too. And so we were just like, okay, yeah, we'll do it, we'll do it. And so I feel like that's what has been bringing, like, the, the bad spirits, bad spirits wrong. Because I heard if you don't close the Ouija board right, like, something could happen to you. Or if you don't say goodbye, like, something, like, it's bringing all the spirits out to the world. And the bad spirits can follow you because you haven't said goodbye. And it's just like, we've done some reach. To I've quality. never done the Ouija board since. Like, all my friends are like, yeah, let's try. I'm just like... No, get that away from me. I have though, which is all bad. Yeet. Like we have cheer, like team parties. Oh uh, like, yeah. We <gasps> sit there. That one time when Bella at Bella's house, when we had all the three scratches oh. on the floor, cause like the table slid or something like that. No, yeah, we all were sitting there and we were asking it stupid questions, cause you're not supposed to ask it like Cut, what, show signs, like, like or anything like that. like that. So we were just like, "What's your name?" And I forgot the name. What he t the whatever whatever it is has told us and so I was like what's your name and he told us some name but it was like kind of a creepy name it wasn't any of our names it wasn't like an Anthony it was like 
a name you won't remember, remember. Yeah. like <laughs> like Demonis or something like that. It's just weird. And so we were sitting there, like, show us signs. And he, sh like, we were sitting there, and we waited, like, two minutes. And all of a sudden, we look to our right, and we hear, like, a noise, and we see three scratches on the wood. And we are just like, oh, no. Like, we, had, we asked the Ouija board, we said, what do you want? You don't and ask that. It was so creepy, because they spelled my name out. And it's, like, making me get, like, I feel like it's right her, now. and it's not me. Uh-uh, pain. Whew. No, it's giving me the chills right now. And it spelled out my name. And my name is really hard to spell. Like, if you think about my name, Mikkel, you're going to think it's spelled M-I-K-E-H-L or E-L. But it's spelled M-I-K-A-H-L. And for the Ouija board to spell my name out. Correctly is weird. And it just gave me the heebie-jeebies. And that we burnt the Ouija board after, though, knowing that you can't do it. And we just found, well, I just found out That's that. That's one of the worst things you could probably do. Thank God I wasn't there, and I was not a part of that. And, and yes, we, you are the one that started all this stuff in the house now. Well, we burnt it. We've done the Ouija board like five times in our house, and we burnt it every time because we thought that's what you're supposed to do. Have fun sleeping by yourself tonight. Um, girl, looks like I'm coming to sleep with No, wow. your closet. <laughs> you get scared? No, yes. what the heck? I'm not going to sleep tonight. Well, that was some of our stories we're going to share with you, but if anything else happens, we're going to definitely... What? <laughs> Definitely make another video. I don't know why you did that. Not scary, weird. But we'll share more with you. If you guys had any experiences with like the Ouija board or like scary things in your house, comment down below and let us know what you've been experiencing because we, we like love that. hearing that kind of stories and it just gives us a thrill, like I said. And also tell your friends to subscribe to us and look at our channel and, and give us a thumbs up. And like we said in our last video, we're almost at 5,000. Please, please, please subscribe if you guys haven't already. And please get us to 200 likes if you guys love this video. And we just wanted to share this video with you guys. Bye. Bye, guys.